Welcome back. You're watching Power Lunch. The market is stable. The Nifty is holding on to gains above 7950 or so. Let's now focus on individual stocks and uh, let's now focus on earnings. Um, uh, the IT bellwether emphasis will kick start uh, the second quarter earnings season tomorrow. But 8K Miles Software is a software company, small Chennai based uh, software company that has come up with strong earnings. Sales are up 28.5% on a sequential basis and uh, profit after tax up 32% on a sequential basis. In fact, uh, the amount of money uh, on the bottom line, the profits that they've made in the first half of this year has surpassed the entire profit made by them a year earlier. To talk to us about the earnings and the prospects of the company, we're joined by Mr. Suresh Venkatachari, Chairman at 8K Miles Software Services. Thanks so much uh, for joining us on NDTV Profit. Um, very strong earnings uh, posted by 8K Miles. Of course, the base was small. Uh, what kind of margin expansion did you see in this quarter? Uh, actually, we focus more on uh, driving the revenue growth rather than uh, profitability at this stage. Uh, there is a huge market opportunity for expanding our sales, which in turn actually generate uh, substantial profit. Uh, we invest continuously on innovation, so which will automate uh, most of our services, which will lead it into a higher profitable margin. But can you tell me what was the margin band like? Uh, unfortunately, we don't give any uh, visibility or guidelines at this moment on uh, revenue growth or profitability. No, I'm asking what was the margin that you enjoyed in the second quarter when you, you posted your earnings? Okay, we, we did a EBITDA margin of about 36% EBITDA margin. All right, uh, Mr. Venkatachari, this 36% EBITDA margin. Compared to 34% last. All right. So that has also jumped now. Is it sustainable going ahead? What kind of, what's the, uh, you know, margin outlook for the entire year that you are now looking forward to? See, we continue to uh, innovate more and automate our uh, processes and our product actually. We uh, expect to profit to significantly rise as uh, we are a non-linear company in terms of our revenue growth to the profitability. So, uh, we would expect the profitability to either uh, maintain this level or uh, increase over a period of a time. How has been the response of cloud computing in particular in the Indian market? Because we believe that, uh, you know, here there are companies which uh, are not really ready to adapt cloud, uh, cloud computing just as yet. What are you, what kind of companies are you targeting? Only the big ones or the small size or the mid size ones? Okay, I think this problem is actually is a global one. Uh, even if you see historically the cloud computing was not uh, fully adapted in even a matured market like US. Even in the US is only around 5% of the market is actually scratching now on the cloud. So there is a significant growth opportunity both in the US as well as in India. The early adapter for the cloud is all the e-commerce player who offer a sell online or like airlines which sell the tickets wherever you see a huge uh, demand for a, a highly spike based volume and also in the startup uh, that's where you see the early adapters however in the next uh, two to three years you will see a witness even the any every every small to mid-size enterprise to a large enterprise will move into the cloud as it's uh, they have to upgrade their existing data center or a private cloud so you see a huge opportunity growth in the next three to five years so big opportunity you are expecting in the next three to five years but you know uh, getting orders uh, from companies how difficult it is at this point in time and do you think people are now slowly and uh, gradually adapting themselves for this new technology yes you, yes absolutely uh, two years back it's very very difficult for us to uh, leave get into more number of customer base Right now, the market is actually looking to expand more and where we see a strong growth, even if you see, look at our revenue growth from the previous year, actually uh, our growth is substantially growing because of the market demand increases. And uh, if you look at the Gartner or other reports, there is a $45 billion opportunity and we are still scratching a very, very small surface. Right. Uh, Mr. Venkatachari, I'm trying to understand. Uh, how do you compete with uh, competition? We have very big marquee names in the technology space of HCL Tech, Infosys, Wipro. Yes, you offer a very niche product, but you know these big companies when they go to the client, they bundle things. They're making investments in Smack 
and uh, you know how do you compete with them be it getting clients or even retaining client uh, re retaining okay, your employees because it's hard okay. to come by people who have good uh, the skills. enterprises like okay uh, let me explain to you actually the enterprises really look for in the cloud space not a generalist they look for a specific cloud experts who can come and help we are a company we are a battle tested and we have implemented various case scenarios and we have a very very strong ip ip led automation revolve around people so uh, ours actually we have a pattern and we have innovations and lot of ip tools we have built on the knowledge database which is very very uh, put us in a very very unique position and uh, some of the big clients actually were use the large gsi they are looking at us as thought leader in the cloud computing space so that's kind of a recognition what we get uh, in the last two quarters we have broken into like more than uh, four or four big large enterprise customer so that shows us actually a, a, a need for a specific uh, focused player in the cloud space can you tell us what your deal pipeline is how many more clients will you add uh, how much more deals are you expecting in the remaining 6 months of this year we look at a consistent growth from here this year and the next year we would, would expect to grow uh, in a rapid phase that's what actually we are investing money in a marketing bandwidth and also looking at a inorganic opportunity where we can able to offer a, a complete domain based technology uh, currently we are a technology provider we help enterprise move into the cloud and manage their uh, existing infrastructure using a cloud managed services and offer a security uh, services revolve around that in future we want to offer into a certain domain space like a pharma and healthcare vertical which will help us to grow more number of customers all right uh, mr venkat prachari thank you so much for speaking with us at ndtv profit and uh, giving us more details of the earnings posted by the company and the outlook ahead we are confident of uh, bagging more deals as more uh, indian customers and other companies abroad also uh, uh, come around to the fact that cloud is something they can't ignore we'll see break we'll come back with more stay with us